Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ron. I have seven items here to help with the cold weather sleep system. Let's go ahead and start with the sleeping pads. Sleeping pads have an R value and the R value is additive. You can combine a blow up pad and a foam pad to make a higher R value. So I have the Thermarest Z-Lite sleeping pad, the short version. This has an R value of two. I combine that with the 2019 REI Air Rail Plus. This sleeping pad has an R value of five. So this gives me an R value, a total R value of seven for my sleeping pad, which helps keep you warmer at night. The next item to keep me warmer is the um, Lit Tomb Fleece Sleeping Pad Liner. According to the um, description on Amazon, this liner adds 27 degrees of warmth to your pad or to your sleeping bag. I have not verified that it's true, but it does definitely add additional warmth to your sleeping bag or quilt. The next item I have that helps you sleep warmer is the SLL Escape Vivi. You can use this as a sleeping bag liner or you can use it outside of your sleeping bag. What's really nice about this item is that it's waterproof. So if you experience a, a um, leaky tent or a poorly set up um, tarp and you're getting water into your, um, potentially into your sleep system that's going to cause your, your down gear to fail, you can put this over your sleeping bag and it's going to keep your down gear dry and keep you warm throughout the night in addition to reflecting your body heat back onto you. The next three are tough. I have to unwrap them to, to let you know. They're all packable down from HS Max. So I have the down booties here from HS Max. They weigh, they weigh roughly 75 grams and you just put them over your feet. You can leave your, if your socks are dry, just leave your socks on and put these over your socks and they'll keep your toes nice and warm at night. I have a good idea that these ones are the mittens. The mittens are lighter, they're around 45 grams. They have a cinch on here to um, help block drafts, make them tighter around your arm, and they're gonna keep your hands warm at night. I know many, many people in backpacking and bike camping are getting into quilts instead of mummy bags. And here's a must-have. This is one of these um, baklavas. Can we just call it a ski mask? And these, this one weighs about 75 grams as well. It cinches at the face and it cinches at the neck. And it's great to put on to keep your head warm at night, especially when you're, you move from a quilt, or from a mummy bag to a quilt, having a down hood like this will keep your head warm at night and help block drafts. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let's hit that like button down below. Let's leave comments, keep them nice. Let's be there for the people that are like me on a weight loss journey and and seeing this channel for the first time and seeing that that you can lose weight so you can get out there and start hiking and backpacking and do all the all these fun things. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.
Yeah, it was our first frost last night. So I figured that since we had our first 36 degree night, it's time to talk um, cold weather camping, guys. And I'm gonna make the, th make the thumbnail my, um, my last winter bike trip. I take my bike out in the snow. I'm not, I'm not afraid. They come out in the snow.